In this video, we are consulting with one of state's expert district sales managers, Christy Fobert, to discuss some of the most frequently asked questions our sales representatives receive regarding grease trap maintenance. Let's hear what she has to say. For grease trap maintenance, we have different products that can be used. We have enzyme-based, we have bacteria-based, we have soy-based, we have green-friendly products. So uh, we have a lot of different options when it comes to treating grease traps. How often the products need to be used is dependent on how big the grease trap is, how much buildup you have. So. We like to perform a survey to take a look at it, see what's going on before we actually tell you how much you're gonna need on a monthly basis. But typically we treat them monthly. Uh, again, it depends on the size, the severity of the problem. Absolutely, we have different pumps that are available for us to be able to program them so that they are actually dispensing product into your grease trap when there is less happening in the kitchen area or wherever your grease trap is at so that that product can actually sit there and do its job. Um, so we can program it to actually hit the grease trap at different times. Local regulations are very important. There are some municipalities that do not allow emulsifiers because it lets the grease out of the grease trap, but then it solidifies again down the line and that can actually be in the sewers out in the municipality, which causes an issue for them. So it is important to know what your local municipalities require or do not allow for you to use within your grease traps. How often you need to pump a grease trap is dependent on how bad your issue is. Typically, if you use our products, um, regardless of whether it's bacteria-based, enzyme-based, um, soy-based, it will cut down on the amount of pump outs that you do need with your grease trap. Proper dosage on your grease trap, again, depends on the size of it and it depends on how severe the problem is. So um, dosing could actually fluctuate if it gets under control, we could always scale it back. Um, but typically we look at how much buildup there is and what the flow is like and that is how we decide on what the dosage is. If you have any questions regarding our products or services, feel free to reach out to us using the Contact Us link in the description. For more information, visit www.stateindustrial.com.